what you need to say. Say what you need to say. say what you need Welcome back, Smile Jammers. Have you ever heard the term hospice husband? I never had prior to now. Apparently, it's where men who are ill or dying marry women, then leave them with the medical bills. Huh? So our discussion question this morning is, would you marry without letting your partner know you are sick or dying? So it says one of my friends from my corporate days married for the first time one year ago. She was 56, her new spouse was 62. Um, she says the truth has come out. The man has diabetes, high blood pressure, rotten teeth, and a failing heart. He was aware of his health issues when he began courting her. When he went to the dentist after marrying, there were issues. He had only dental care. He had only enough dental care to have a friendly smile. Behind that smile were many pending dental issues. Ah, so he was cash poor, she was not. He did not own a house. She was on year 12 of a 15 year mortgage. His savings were minimal. He spent his life serially enjoying multiple women, taking expensive trips and living his best life. He parted his way into a lousy health through his most financial productive years, mm -hmm. working a decent job. She now believes he married her, not because he loved her, but because he needed someone to take care of her. Mm -hmm. He was seeking a hospice wife to so take, take care of him. Mm -hmm. Someone to care for him as he got older and sicker. Mm -mm. He moved into her house. She's the one who sets up his daily pills and prepares his special meals. She helps with him with his demands. She drives him to collect his samples for the lab and provides extensive care for him on his bad days. He could barely go to the washroom without her help. She's the one taking him to multiple doctor visits every month. Her husband has been hospitalized three times in the last year. The deductible on his health insurance was ridiculous. So they changed her health insurance plan because of the lower deductibles. Mm -hmm. He has an outrageous medical mandate to remove any decayed teeth before he's eligible for a pending heart operation. Yeah. He, require, he requires much of her time and energy. The man is fighting for his life. As he fights for his life, he's consuming her life force. <laughs> wow. Oh my God. Wow. Tall, attractive, apparently well-to-do, and madly in love with her is how she describes when she just met him. My granny always tell me that everything we glitter is gold. gold. Mm-hmm. So I... I, I can't... I, well, I don't know, uh, but I can't see someone doing that deliberately. I don't yes, know. Yes, never. I can't see anyone doing that deliberately. Yes, so Delia. I want to marry to Dale and I know that I'm not well and I know I might be dying. He want to marry to me. He want to marry to the, the help when I'm going to give him. There, and, and there are also uh, instances where people marry the woman that they know is going to wait for them. So they don't even live in Jamaica. Um, so they marry and then they overseas. YOLO living their best life. And then when them get older now and retire, and life for them is, then they come back home to live with their wife. Mm. Well, I don't know. I can't say, mm -mm. I don't know anyone who would have done that. Me know the them. First, is the, <laughs> Me know them. It's the first time hearing anything about hospice, husband and stuff like them that. Give it a nice name. Why do they always give these things such beautiful names? Hospice, husband. That's a con man. That's not a hospice husband. Because if you, if you enter into um, a, 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 an engagement or relationship with someone on a false premise, you're a con man. We have these beautiful things that make people feel that it's hospice husband. You're married to a con man. <laughs> what well, we turn hospice husband? <laughs> con man. And you know what's sad about it? I guarantee you. There are women out there that would marry him anyway. Yep. Like there are women out there that if you meet someone and you genuinely care about them, whether they're ill or not, I agree. they will make the commitment. And there are men like that. I, I mean, agree. the example is about a man. I agree. But there are men as well who will, who will love somebody, whether they're sick or not, and make the commitment to be with them until they're no longer with us. I agree. So, I... so if you take advantage of people, Use a con man. Yeah, I agree with that. I, I read this story 
changing lanes just a bit about this uh, parent. I think she was from Australia who went to the Middle East um, to adopt kids. Mm -hmm. And she adopted two kids who never had arms or legs. Wow. And she knew they didn't have, they the didn't arms, have no. arms and legs mm -hmm. before she adopted them. Mm -hmm. she, it's not like she go home and say, wait. You know, she yeah. knew. So I agree with what Delia said. Because yeah. you, can, you can also marry someone and then their health Improves. Just takes a turn for the and worse. It or, or, or it improves. Or it, can it improves. Be, yeah, I yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so there are people who will say, you know, that's cool. Let's see how we can we can work together. But no surprise, people. Not yeah. do that. Me not, me not so like the that. question at the, the start, as you can see on lower thirds there, would you marry without letting your partner know you are sick or dying? I certainly wouldn't do that. I couldn't do it. I, I, I certainly could Because you is that. not a con man. <laughs> I couldn't do that. I couldn't do it. Con man. Hospice husband. I don't know, give them them sweet name there. <laughs> and me say, well, I'm a hospice husband. Come man, wicked. <laughs> you know, you know, I'm back up. And no, <laughs> me not back up because you see, when you say hospice husband, then it sounds like, okay, I have to, uh, yeah, I made a commitment, them, yeah. so I have to take care of this person because they're my husband. No, you can't divorce the person because they're a con man. Them, no, but in this instant, Prince, they knew they were, he knows he was ill. Yeah, Richard was, uh, our director is saying that maybe the guy didn't know that he was. No, if you don't know, say you're ill, then yeah, we can't hold that against you. Yeah, but in this case, what we're you. talking about, he knew. But he um, knew, he knew. Him, him, him live him, him YOLO, him YOLO, YOLO. <laughs> and then now when, when life come back now, <laughs> you're going to go con the woman. I don't know why she's still there. And but she, she have the man, she'll take him to multiple doctor visit. Uh, lady, you're crazy. So where, where you would have taken him? To court. <laughs> where they give divorces. <laughs> Level of love. <laughs> no, no, he's a con man. But I'm like, that's not a hospice husband. That's a con man. <laughs> yeah, so she not take him. To court. Him we now got doctor court. We go. <laughs> no, him have some relative. When him relative them where did see my a one where we, and the all of them come I went sit down there eat cake and things and no said so the man is a con man. No, no, <laughs> no level. Well, if you tell me you're sick, believe you me, I'm going to work with it. If, if I yeah. really care about you. Yep. But don't try to con me. That's yep. not going to work. All right, there you go. <laughs> well, when you get the answer. Go. <laughs> <laughs> Hot <laughs> <Benny> husband. <laughs> A con man. Well, I know it, it didn't come up as he said, she said, but that is what she said yes. and me said. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so we're going to go for a break. When we come back, we will change lanes. <laughs> Should the income tax threshold uh, be increased? Stay with us, please. Soon come. <laughs> we'll see you just...